What's going on with this Lyme disease rash? What can we do if we think we have Lyme disease or if we have a rash that looks suspicious? Well, I'm gonna show you some pictures of what is not a Lyme disease rash and also what is a Lyme disease rash so that we can get clarity and we can get help. Let's talk about it. This video is brought to you by Pacha. My new puppy, Pacha. He's the best. Say hi, Pacha. Okay, so we're going to start by talking about what's not an EM rash and what is not Lyme disease. So that, that way you don't waste your time. And if you see that you have one of these things, you can get out of this video and start looking for solutions for what you actually have. So the first one here is an insect bite hypersensitivity. It's a large itchy rash caused by an allergic reaction to an insect bite, not Lyme disease. The next one is a fixed drug reaction. So this is a skin condition that occurs up to two weeks after a person takes medication and the skin condition reappears at the same location every time a person takes that particular medication and it's just a reaction to a drug. The next one is ringworm. This one is super common in the wrestling jujitsu world. It's a common skin infection. It's caused by a fungus usually on the mats when people are wrestling or doing jujitsu and it causes a ring shaped rash. It's red and raised with an itchy. And now the really important thing Thing here is that it's raised because as we're going to talk about the erythema migrans Lyme disease rash is usually not raised it's flat so let's move on this one is pit pityriasis rosea it's a rash that doesn't have a known cause sadly it's round or oval pink and scaly with a raised border and it can sometimes itch and there's larger patches than what is shown here in this picture sometimes. Now this one is called granuloma annular rash and it's reddish bumps on the skin arranged in a circle or ring. Again, the important part is that it's raised and bumpy. So if your rash is raised and bumpy, it may not be Lyme disease. It could be, but chances are it's not if it's raised. This one, uh, poor little guy, this one is urticaria multiforme, aka hive. So this happens from allergic reactions to food, to an infection, to a medicine. It can burn or itch and I feel so bad for this little guy, oh my God. Okay, so now that, that's everything that's not an EM rash. So a lot of times people confuse those with what actually is an EM rash and they think that they have Lyme disease when they do not. So make sure that you don't have any of these ones first and then if it still looks a little bit different than all these rashes, then maybe you do have an EM rash. Let's look at a few different varieties of what an EM rash really looks like. So this is the classic Lyme disease rash. It's circular, expanding rash. It looks like a target. It looks like a bullseye, hence the bullseye rash. This is a typical erythema migrans rash that you'll see with someone that has Lyme disease. This one is also a Lyme disease rash and it's an expanding rash with a central crust. So it's got that expanding lesion in, in, in the middle of it and the central crust on the chest. That's pretty disgusting. Next is uh, this one, which is an expanding erythema migrans, but it has a nodule in the middle, like a little raised bump in the middle. Uh, it's very interesting and, and makes it different. You may not recognize it as Lyme disease at first. Next is multiple rashes, okay? So this is a sign of disseminated infection, meaning that the infection is spread throughout the body to multiple different organs. So these will look like multiple different lesions with dusky centers. And notice how the lesions are more flat. They're not really raised very much. They're more just flat on the belly. The picture on the left is not me. The picture on the right is me. Those are That's my rash. And as you can see, I have about what, four of them in the picture. I think there may have been another one that's not in the picture, but I had a disseminated infection with Lyme disease. Now, here's the, the interesting part. There's other signs of disseminated infection besides this multiple rashes. And those are central nervous systems such as dizziness, headache, vertigo, stiff neck, light and sound sensitivity, cognitive difficulties, and tingling numbness, burning of the scalp or face. Those are also signs that you have a disseminated infection. Now, interestingly enough, I had vertigo. I was fainting. I had cognitive difficulties. I had sensitivity to light and sound. I had headaches. I had vertigo. So, I had a lot of these central nervous system issues on top of having multiple lesions. So I definitely had a disseminated infection that was advancing throughout my whole body and affecting mainly my heart. But I'm sure, as you can tell from this picture, it looks like it's located around my liver 
So it's probably affecting my liver as well. Now, this also is uh, the peripheral nervous system symptoms, which is tingling, numbness, burning, and or stabbing sensations to the extremities. I don't think I had many or any of those but those are also signs that you have a disseminated infection. I thought that was interesting. I thought that I should include that in this video when we're talking about disseminated infections with multiple rashes. So if you have multiple rashes, just know that you have a disseminated infection, which means it's spreading throughout your body. It's affecting multiple organ systems and it can cause way more problems. I had this, luckily I was able to heal myself. That's a story for another video, but yes, it's a tough road and it was a, it was an extremely difficult part of my life, but uh, I obviously got through it and I'm much better today because of it. Next is this red oval plaque. So this is different. You can barely tell that this is a rash. It just kind of looks like someone slapped this guy on the side and it's a red expanding oval plaque on the trunk. That's an interesting one. You got the expanding rash with central clearing. That means that the center of it, there's no dot, there's no, it's not covered in the center. It's literally just a ring, one ring. And you can see it's kind of flat. It's not very raised at all. So it doesn't look like ringworm, but it does look like a Lyme disease rash. It's not the typical bullseye, but it is a big circle on the skin, expanding rash with essential clearing. Next is a bluish hued rash with no central clearing. So there's no clearing there. It's totally filled in, but it's bluish in the middle. It looks kind of like a bruise or a hickey on this person's skin. And it's a bluish hued without the central clearing. You also have the expanding lesion with no central clearing. So this one is getting rather large and it's an expanding lesion and there's no central clearing and it's on the back of the knee. And then there's this one, which is a red blue lesion with central clearing. And again, there's just a little bit of central clearing in this one. It's not like a huge big circle, but you can see there's like a weird strip of the knee that looks like, it's kind of like when you get sunburned, uh, but you're wearing sunglasses. And then when you take the sunglasses off, the sunburn is like in the shape of sunglasses on your face, you're just white right there. But in this case, there's just a weird looking circle in the middle, but it's not a circle. It's just a random little oval shape there in the middle with some central clearing on the back of the knee. So that's it. Those are all the rashes that are the EM erythema migrans rash. So if you have something that looks like it is an erythema migrans rash, definitely go to the doctor knowing that you have Lyme disease. If you have anything else, it's a very different protocol, a very different healing process. Like if, for example, you have hives or if you have ringworm, it's gonna be a completely different process than if you have something like Lyme disease. So go to the doctor with this information in hand. Remember, you are responsible for your health and you need to take control as much as humanly possible. You're responsible. You are in the driver's seat of your health so go out there and kick butt. So there you have it. That's the Lyme disease rash. If you think you have Lyme disease, go to your doctor. Make sure you get tested. I know the tests are not reliable. It's very difficult to get a diagnosis, but if you have a rash, you can get a diagnosis a lot easier than if you do not have a rash. So you can bank on that. And that's all I have for you today. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What has your Lyme disease journey been like? I'm here to support you. I'm here to help people with Lyme disease. I've been here every single day for the past year, and I can't wait to help you heal from the inside out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.